Hello everyone, welcome back. Here is Van Amsen and today we are going to tackle uh, an interesting problem from LeetCode called palindrome number. The task is to determine if a given integer is a palindrome without converting it to a string. So let's jump right into it. We are going to be using C for this task and let's start by writing our uh, function uh, signature. So uh, is a palindrome with uh, int uh, x. So first thing to note is that negative number can be palindrome due to the negative sign. So we will return false for those. Uh, also, if the last digit uh, of the number is zero, the first digit must uh, also be zero. The only number that meets this criteria is zero itself. So we will also check for uh, this uh, condition. So uh, let's write our code. So negative numbers and be palindrome due to the negative sign. Also, if the last digit is zero to be a palindrome, the first digit must also be zero. So the only number that meets this criteria is zero itself. So if x less than zero or x modulo 10 is zero and x not zero return false. So then int reversed half zero and uh, reverse half of the number. So while x greater than reversed half, reversed half, reversed half times 10 plus modulo 10 x divided by 10 and compare the reversed half with the remaining half. And for number with an odd number of digits, the middle digit will be part of the reversed half as well. So we also compare to reversed half divided by 10. So return x equals reversed half or x reversed half divided by 10. So uh, let's see if it's uh, working for our test case of 121 uh, minus 121. So yeah, it's working. So 121 is palindrome. So it's obviously uh, true. And minus 121 is not palindrome because from left to right and right to left, it's reads uh, opposite and it's not palindrome those. And 10 is obviously from uh, other side is zero one and it's not palindrome because it's not the same. So trick we did here is we compared the reverse half with the remaining half of the original number. Uh, for number with uh, an odd number of digits, uh, the middle digit will be part of the reversed half. So we need to account for this by dividing the reversed half uh, by 10 also. So let's check if it's working for uh, the unseen test cases. So yeah, it's working for unseen test cases. And yeah, so uh, I hope it helped and uh, it's very simple and we didn't uh, uh, change it to a string as for uh, task requirements. And uh, what we do is we uh, were reversing half of the number and then comparing it with the other half. And we can determine that we have reached a half uh, of the number when the original number uh, is less than or equal to the reverse number. And uh, this part of code of reverse half uh, is just uh, constructing the number very simple. So uh, multiplying by 10, it's moving it to the left side. And then we uh, use modulo 10 to add uh, last digit. And then we decrease uh, our temporal x number by uh, 10. So I hope uh, it's uh, explained. And there you have it. Uh, this solution works uh, because we are essentially comparing the first half 
of the number with the second half. Uh, it does not require the number conversion to a string and uh, has, uh, yeah, uh, good results for uh, time. So, yeah, I think, yeah, we beat 51% uh, with respect to runtime and 64 with respect to uh, memory. So uh, our function works correctly, identifying whether a number is palindrome or not. Thank you for watching. Uh, please uh, like, uh, subscribe and comment if you have any question. And uh, as usual, happy coding, keep practicing. See you next time.